It's a hockey night in Kennesaw, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the first game of the new season for the Kennesaw State Fighting Owls at the Marriott Ice Center. Tonight's game is the first of a two-game series against the Florida State Seminoles. Commenting the game tonight with me, as usual, is my own brother, Matt. He sounds like a handsome gentleman, Andrew. I am hesitant to agree. <laughs> All righty. Let's get it underway. The first game of the 2018 season for the Kennesaw State Fighting Owls facing off against the Florida State Seminoles. If it's anything like last season, Matt, we're going to see some aggressive play, lots of hits, and some nice speed down the ice. You know what? Hopefully it carried through. I, I, I liked the excitement that it brought to the game. I do, too. All right, everyone. And Kennesaw State, that is Tristan Gagner with the puck right off of the face-off, and it immediately is sent up out of the far boards and out of play. The very first face-off of the 2018 season is a win for Kennesaw State. That was Drew Spizinski on the face-off, Matt. Oh, very nice, very nice. Spizinski again on the face-off, comes out with it. It's Vandekirkov now on the far side boards, sending it along behind the opposing net. Spizinski giving Florida State the business right now along the near side boards. Deer sending one in front, but it is corralled by the Florida State goalie. Some commotion in front now, and it's along the near side boards by Florida State, but kept in, and a shot put on goal by Tristan Gagner. Now sending one in front is Kennesaw State with it in front of the net. Florida State comes up with it and sends it back out past the blue line, past center, and into the Kennesaw State zone for an icing. Matt, I am liking the offense so far. Spizinski giving them the business. He came to play tonight. On the near side boards, that was unbelievable. Almost I'm surprised like he didn't take his lunch money. Almost like he came just to rough up Florida State. <laughs> Specifically. Had something personal against him. All right, McDonald on the faceoff now. Comes up with the puck yet again. Kennesaw State in the offensive zone. A shot put on goal by Testino. is snapped up by the glove hand of Ryan Gadbois, the Florida State goaltender. And Matt, last season, Ryan Gadbois allowed five goals a game. Are you kidding that me? Is courtesy is that, a real of the, stat? that is courtesy of the Florida State Seminoles website. I am not making that, that up. That is incredible. Let's McDonald winning the faceoff, sending it back on over to Berezinski, who put a shot on goal that was turned away by Gadbois. Florida State now managed to get it into the neutral zone for once in their damn lives. And now we are in the Kennesaw State zone. Kennesaw State crawling the puck behind their own net. Playing keep away now. Sent along the far side boards. Florida State managed to keep it in the offensive zone, but it is tipped up out of play by Florida State for a stoppage. The only spark of offense they've had so far, and they didn't even get very far into the zone, Matt. You are absolutely correct. All right, McDonald on the faceoff yet again. He's on a hot streak here. McDonald. Oh, oh my a big goodness. hit! Jack <laughs> Testino <laughs> just laying out a poor Florida State starter. My goodness. And Kennesaw State once again in the offensive zone, but it's crowded by Florida State as Kennesaw makes a line change. My goodness, he put him on skates. Matt, it's almost like he was on ice out there. <laughs> <laughs> Isaiah Arnold now crawling the puck for Kennesaw State. It's Tisdale now sending the puck along to the far side boards. Arnold attempting to corral the puck once again. There's some co uh, commotion along the far side boards now as Florida State manages to send it all the way back down into the Kennesaw zone for the second icing of the game. It's the only thing they can do is just clear it right now. Kennesaw's putting a lot of pressure on him. I couldn't agree more, and I absolutely love it. I'm gonna get a slow mo MLG montage of that, uh, <laughs> of that, uh, of that hit by, by our boy Testino. Make sure you get the air horns behind it. Oh, absolutely. Arnold now, coming up with the puck along the near side boards. Florida State attempting to clear it, but nothing doing. Berezinski now with the puck in front of the net. At the high point now is Berezinski along to the far side boards, sending it along behind the Florida State net. And my, my goodness, Tisdale just loses his stick there. Like That looked like a Dr Grand Theft Auto glitch. It looks like he got caught in a crack and it just snapped out I of his agree. hand. Bears it, the wind took it. Berezinski now with the puck in, Kennes in his eyes. <laughs> Kennesaw State zone. Kennesaw State once again into the Florida State zone, but it is knocked up out of play by the boards. Thurston hasn't had to do any work tonight yet, Matt. So far, Florida State, they just can't get across that blue line unless it's an icing. Absolutely. He can just hang back in the crease, have a mimosa, 
and just uh, enjoy life, you know? I enjoy the view. I think at one point he skated through the door, went and got some nachos at the snack bar here. Are the nachos any good here? I do. I don't know. know. They moved venues from the town center to the Marriott Ice Center. I have not tried the snacks yet, Matt. We'll report back after the first period. Alrighty now, along the near side boards is Evan Deer, who sends it up into the Florida State zone. Florida State corrals the puck. My man without a jersey here. Uh, apparently they'll allow that on a technicality. Florida State in the offensive zone for once now. And immediately it's corralled by West Davis. Sends it to the near side boards to Deer. Deer puts a shot on goal that's turned aside by Gadbois. Deer along behind the net now. Picking up a stick while he uh, while he did so. And oh my goodness, Van, Van der Kirkhoff in front of the net almost put one in the five hole of Gadbois, but Florida State corrals the puck and <laughs> immediately lose it once they bring it into the offensive zone. Van der Kirkhoff now putting some work on number seven for Florida State University. Florida State now come up with it in their own zone. Can't quite clear it though. As McDonald now along the near side board sends one into Deer. Deer back to McDonald. McDonald put a shot on the glove side of Gadbois, but Gadbois managed to turn it away. Florida State now in the offensive zone, attempting to get some offense going, but can't quite make it happen. And it's Testino now putting a shot on Gadbois from the high point, but not quite. Commotion in front. Puck must be fallen on by Gadbois. Three shots put on goal in that possession, Matt. Gadbois really has to be on his game tonight or he's going to get beat. It already looks like he is taking a pounding already. McDonald on the faceoff. Kennesaw State come up with the faceoff once again. It's Bright now behind the boards. Bright onto the far side to Bright. The Bright brothers. Thurston now lazily touches the puck. That's all he's been required to do this, uh, <laughs> this period thus far. It's in his contract, Matt. Just play it off a trapezoid. It'll be fine. Yeah, he's doing a splendid job of it. McDonald now with the puck, sending it up along the far side boards to Testino. Testino now working it along. The far side boards behind the Florida State net. Bright. One of the brights. One of the two. One of the two Florida State now corralling the puck and sending it down behind the Kennesaw State net. And Florida State attempting to hang on to the puck for more than several seconds at a time. Lost video feed there for a moment, but that's all right. And Kennesaw State now. Fighting for the puck in their own zone. Florida State come up with it, put a shot on goal, but it's wide. Sends it behind the net, and Florida State, a slapper from the far side point. Nothing doing. I don't even know why you take that shot. All right, near side point now for Florida State, or at least maybe it's Florida State. He's not wearing a jersey, so I can't tell. That's the black shirt he found in the locker room, Matt. <laughs> I think so. Kennesaw State now with proper jerseys coming up, <laughs> coming up along the far side boards. It's Isaiah Arnold who dumps it into the Florida State zone. Isaiah Arnold leaning into a Florida State player along the far side boards. You could hear that one. That's a big man and a lot of force going, Matt. My goodness, he's the wrecking crew. And it's Florida State with their first shot on goal of the night, snapped up by the breadbasket of the one, the only, Luke Thurston. And we saw last year, Matt, Thurston is capable of making some incredible saves. They call him the hungry, hungry hippo. Who calls him that, Matt? I do. That's good Just to now. Know. Just now, I do. Is that Wes Davis on the faceoff, I believe? Yes, indeed, Wes Davis. That's not Davis. No, it's to num number 10. I don't believe we have him on our roster. That's they all right. They gave us an incomplete roster, Matt. That's all right. It happens. All right, along the near side boards is Kennesaw State. Kennesaw State working it along behind the Florida State net once again. McDonald attempting to come up with the puck, but it was a little too hot. So Florida State now brings it out into the neutral zone and into the Kennesaw State zone. Kennesaw State back on defense. Florida State working it up to the high point, now to the near side wing. Near side wing, Florida State to the high point, now to the far side wing as it is corralled by Kennesaw State and sent up to McDonald who is in prime position there to make a move. Now it's behind the Florida State net. McDonald looking for a centering pass but not quite. McDonald with the puck once again on the far side boards. Moran now with it behind the net. Moran on the near side boards. Sending it back to Tristan Gagner, who sends one in front, but not quite. Tipped away by Florida State. Florida State now with the puck in their own zone. Getting a break here is Florida State, but not quite. Their skating is not up to snuff, and they couldn't get to the puck in time. I think their skates aren't sharp, and it would explain the jerseys, Matt. <laughs> the ancient jerseys they're wearing. All right, Kennesaw State now with the puck in the neutral zone. Corralled by Florida State. Attempted to clear, but not quite. Kennesaw State 
Puck in their own zone. And a stoppage in play. Matt, I do not like straight below us that puck got tipped up out of play. There is no net in front of us. We are in prime position to get the concussion over here. I'm a fan. All right, Kennesaw State now. Dropping that first face off. Florida State with the puck in their own zone. They're dancing around with it, trying to keep it away from this aggressive forecheck of Kennesaw State. Spy Zinski putting a big hit on the near side boards. Berezinski now keeps it in the Florida State zone. Oh, it's getting a little chippy out there, and I'm a big fan. Florida State working with behind their own zone. Number 50 takes a tumble. I think he lost an edge there, Matt. But it gets cleared all the way back down the ice for yet another ice. No, it was not an icing. Kennesaw State touched it. Kennesaw State working back up the ice. Throws it over to Deer. Deer takes it over the blue line, down to the corner, throws it right against the boards behind the goalie. All right, Florida State now playing defense once again, and a shot in front by Spyzinski, just barely wide of the net. Gadbois was seeing ghosts on that one. Spyzinski with the puck now behind the Florida State net. He's got help in Evan Deer. Spyzinski now to Deer once again in front of the net, attempted a centering pass, not quite, and we have a delayed penalty, I believe, against Kennesaw State. And it's getting a little chippy along the near side boards. Vanda Kirkov and Teal going out. What kind of name is Teal? That's a color. It is a color, Matt, and their jerseys are not even blue. Unfortunate. Is, although that would explain the, uh, the two guys on Florida State right there wearing black jerseys with blue pants. Who do they play for? Looks like we got double two penalties. A double minor on Kennesaw State and, a, and just a minor on, uh, on Florida State. Yeah, it appears to be Vanda Kirkov and Evan Deer. Hmm. Keep up the good fight, gentlemen. Hey, we just, believe in hey, you. Hey, just protecting the you, home ice. Hey, Kennesaw did nothing. Deer did nothing wrong. That's all I'm saying. Hashtag free deer. Yeah, you just had to give him the business a little bit. You know? Rough him up. Yeah. I mean, in, 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 in all fairness, how would he know if that's a Florida State player? He's not even wearing the right color pants. All right, Florida State now. Winning the faceoff in the offensive zone. Florida State now at the far side point. Florida State with the puck behind the Kennesaw net. Florida State dancing around with it, and we immediately have another stoppage in play. And we'll sort out what happened momentarily. Faceoff's coming out to the neutral zone, near side. I think they might have just lost the puck there behind Thurston. And the refs kind of went blind. You know how refs are, Matt. Didn't know they could see to begin with, Andrew. <laughs> All righty, Florida State coming up with yet another faceoff now in the neutral zone, sending it into the Kennesaw State zone on the far side boards, and Kennesaw State immediately corral the puck and clear it all the way down behind the Florida State goaltender. Florida State now. Puck in their own zone, and Kennesaw State never won to let a moment go by. Immediately play aggressive defense, but it may end up biting them in the butt here. No dice. The pass sails wide, the centering pass. Florida State now. Commotion in front. Florida State. Attempting to drive a puck home here and it can't quite make it happen. Florida State, puck in there. Oh my goodness, Florida State. After several, several attempts, managed to put the puck in the net. And Matt, um, Luke Thurston there made four back to back to back saves and the, the puck just got launched straight up in the air and they just smacked it home. A valiant effort. There's not much you can do about that one, Andrew. Not much. Can't control bad bounces. But I'll tell you what, the way the rest of this game's been looking, I don't I don't think it'll be this way for very long. Hey, if it takes a power play to get Florida State going, then full strength should be our game. I absolutely agree. Ian McDonald and number eight does not have a last name on his jersey in for the faceoff. <laughs> Which number eight is it? All righty. Kennesaw State. Testino now with the puck. Between the hedges. A lot of commotion in front of the Florida State goal, but the puck sails wide. Now it's behind the net. Corralled by McDonald. McDonald attempted a centering pass, blocked by some traffic in front. Along the near side boards now. Florida State come up with the puck. However, Kennesaw State giving them the devil in the neutral zone. Kennesaw State now with the puck in their own zone. That is Berezinski with the puck, sending it along to the far side boards to Mason Bright. All right, Kennesaw State now. That's Berezinski coming 
screaming full head of steam into the Florida State zone. Along the far side point now, Mason Bright with a shot on goal, turned aside by Gadbois. Went straight through an open slot in the net there, Matt. Uh, can we get someone down to go get that puck? I want to keep it. We're kind of sealed in here. I don't believe we can we can make that happen. It's a shame. I agree. We got one Bright on the ice right now. One of two sets of brothers on this team. The Brights and the Berezinskis. Alrighty, Kennesaw State. That's Berezinski with the puck along the near side boards now. Florida State managed to finagle the puck off of Berezinski. And now Florida State with a full head of steam net coming into the Kennesaw State goal. And oh my goodness, it slips around Thurston and Florida State out to an early 2-0 lead. With 10.23 left in the first period, your score is Florida State 2, Kennesaw State 0. You know what they call 2-0, though, Andrew? We don't talk about it. We don't talk about we that. We do not talk about it. But I have to give I have to give credit where credit's due. That was a that was a good move on, on the way into the ice, man. He was It was a clean breakaway. It was a clean breakaway. He was going side to side and completely shook the defender there. Alrighty, Kennesaw State winning the face off. That's Gagner now along to the far side boards to Mason Bray. Bray attempting to send it in to the Florida State zone, but it's stolen off of him. And along the near side boards in the Kennesaw zone now. Kennesaw State attempting to fight for the puck, but Florida State come up with it. Send a shot on goal, turned aside by Thurston. Gagner now with the puck behind his own net. Sends it along to the far side boards to Tisdale. Tisdale now fighting for the puck along the far side boards. Sends it behind the Florida State goal. Arnold now attempting to get involved in the play here. Arnold laying a large hit once again. Kennesaw State intercept the pass. That's Gagner. Along the near side boards is Gagner looking for a centering pass, but not quite there. Tisdale lays a large hit on a Florida State forward. Kennesaw State with the puck in Florida State territory. And it just barely bounces out of Florida State's territory as Kennesaw State maintain control of the puck and send it in behind the net once again. This is Deer now attempting to make a play. All righty. A centering pass just wide and a big slapper from the far side point by Davis. Another shot on goal here. Hits the back of the net from Kennesaw State. Deer with the puck behind the net now. Berezinski. With the puck at the high point. Sends it on to McDonald, to Berezinski. And Florida State managed to intercept the pass, but it's intercepted right back by Kennesaw State now. Deer, fighting for the puck along the far side boards. But Florida State managed to come up with it. But only momentarily as Berezinski, oh my goodness, sends a redirect to Spysinski. But it is snapped up by Ryan Gadbois once again. Good heads up play by Spysinski getting the, getting the blade of a stick on that puck. Yeah, a little redirect, I like that. That's what we need in front. Hit him with the old razzle-dazzle. <laughs> Hit him with the one-two redirect. All righty. Kennesaw State with the puck in Florida State territory now. It's Vanda Kirkov with the puck on the far side wing. Looking to put one on goal, but not quite. Too much traffic in front. Near side boards now. Back to Berezinski, who sends a slapper. Oh, my goodness. Almost finds its way to the back of the net, but just wide. Davis now with the puck along the far side boards. Attempts a pass. To the point, but nothing doing. And we have a delayed penalty now on Florida State. And that'll be a stoppage. And it's going to be a Kennesaw State power play. That's what I like to see. Florida State did, this, did it to us once. Let's see if we can get them back. Now's the time to start coming Ooh, back like in into the, the game. I'm feeling it. Ooh. Ooh. They are really, really bad. Florida State is really, really bad. Their, their manager with their apparel is really, really bad. <laughs> Whoever was responsible for sending the jerseys, man. Ooh, and apparently they, they shorted them by two. And they have three number eights. <laughs> they do have three number eights. All righty. Evan Deer lining up for the faceoff. Kennesaw with a power play for the first time this game. Vanda Kirkov sends a slapper from the high point grabbed up by Gadbois and immediately with the pressure from Kennesaw State. Got some screens in front of Gadbois there. Surprised didn't go in. A lot of traffic in front. One of these days, that's going to go in. Deer with the faceoff once again. Florida State will come up with it now, attempting to clear. 
and just barely managed to, but the puck is in the neutral zone now, and McDonald sends a pass along to Van de Kerkhoff. Van de Kerkhoff now, skating around one or two defensemen, and it's Deer now along the near side boards. Near side wing, skates all the way around behind the net. This is Deer. Deer looking for a centering pass, but not quite, so he sends it out to the high point, and Van de Kerkhoff. Van de Kerkhoff, a wrist, or just barely, and a stoppage is called. That is unbelievable. Well, there's the first bad call of the game. Gadbois didn't even have control of the puck. Kennesaw State puts it in the back of the net, but no goal because the ref lost sight of it. Man, get your eyes checked. Matt, did he leave his cane in the locker room? I think he may have. His walker is elsewhere. And look, he's got his head down. He knows he's getting a paddling after this game. <laughs> All Someone's right. not getting their paycheck. Florida State come up with the puck now. And Florida State managed to clear. This is Tristan Gagner now with the puck in his own zone. Gagner skating around. And this is Testino now along the far side board, skating in. He's got quite a bit of speed on him. Round to the near side boards now. And Berezinski. Berezinski sends it to Gagner. Gagner, far side point. Loft pass to Aaron Tisdale. Aaron Tisdale now. Back to Berezinski. Back to Gagner, who's setting up for a slapper, but thinks better of it. Near side wing now to Testino. Testino puts a wrister into the bread basket of Ryan Gadbois, but he snaps it up for yet another stoppage in play and a faceoff in the offensive zone for Kennesaw State. That's Testino's third shot of the game for Kennesaw State. He's leading the Owls right now in shots. He is trying to find the back of that net. And Testino, new face on Kennesaw this year, actually played in this arena earlier for the Atlanta Knights. Really? He's back home then. All right, Wes Davis coming up with the puck on the faceoff. It's McDonald now on the near side point. McDonald sending it along the near boards to Davis. Davis back to McDonald. The dynamic duo. Back to Davis. Davis looking for a centering pass. No dice. Near side wing is Davis taking out to the near point. Skating with it is Davis. Davis looking for a shot. Tried to put a wrister between the five hole of the unnamed Florida State defenseman. But no dice. He manages to block it. Wes Davis now comes up with the puck along the near side boards yet again. Behind the net now is the puck. Wes Davis looking for a shot, goes off a skate of a Florida State player to Ian McDonald. McDonald looking for yet another wrister. And it is stopped in the pads of Ryan Gadbois. A lot of puck movement. They got it around, they Very, got it around yeah. the cage, but nothing's going in. Gadbois has been on his game so far. I'm not a fan. We'll break him eventually. Yeah, here's hoping. All right now, yet another offensive zone faceoff. And immediately a stoppage in play. Yeah, they probably stopped that faceoff because Kennesaw's winning on the faceoffs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, give them the advantage as much as they can, right? Oh, there's too many men in the ice right now, is what that was. <laughs> Luckily, we were not penalized. Not a penalty? I guess not. That's all right. Evan Deer now on the faceoff. Kennesaw State. With the puck, Testino sending a wrister high, stick side, not quite. Just high and wide. Florida State managed one more clear into the breadbasket of Thurston. It's Gagner now with the puck in his own zone. Gagner now skating along the far side board, sending it up to Ian McDonald. Ian McDonald skating very quickly into the Florida State zone yet again. It's Gagner. Puck muscled off of him by Florida State. And now it's Berezinski yet again. Berezinski with the puck in his own zone behind his own net. Attempted a centering pass by Florida State. Nothing doing. Florida State with a slapper from the far side point. Rebound in front. Turned aside by Thurston. Stick side. Florida State. Maintain possession. Florida State immediately lose possession as soon as I say this. Now a pass cross ice to the far side boards. Played by a high stick. So Florida State will retain the puck. Wrong sport, Matt. He play. is not playing baseball. This is ice hockey. That's a stoppage in play. Albert Pujols. Was it? I mean, I, for all I know, it could be. He doesn't have a name on his jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Fair play. I didn't know Pujols took up college hockey after his, um, after his illustrious MLB career. All righty. Kennesaw State winning the faceoff in the offensive zone yet again. That's bright. Sending it along to the near side boards where it's crowded by Florida State and sent into the neutral zone. Florida State gained the offensive zone once again. Florida State now along the near side boards, looking for a centering pass, but immediately lose the puck. It's Florida State 
Corralling it once again, however. Florida State, some commotion in front of the net, but nothing doing quite yet. And there's no stoppage there somehow. <laughs> All right, Aaron Tisdale with the puck up to Isaiah Arnold, who takes a hit but manages to gain the zone anyway. Florida State with the puck now gain the neutral zone and eventually the offensive zone. Fanned on a shot and now sent along behind the net to the far side boards by Florida State. Oh my goodness, a big hit by Tisdale. Like what I'm seeing. That's Bright now battling for the puck. Behind the net in Kennesaw State, managed to come up with it. That's Deer now. Sending it up to Tisdale. Tisdale gains the offensive zone, sends a wrister, but it's blocked before it gets there. Deer comes up with the puck now off the rebound, but Florida State managed to muscle the puck off yet again. Florida State now with a full head of steam into the offensive zone. Florida State almost take the extended rebound, but it sails right past the defenseman. Kennesaw State in the offensive zone now with a bit of a two-on-one, two-on-two developing. E Evan Deer, oh my goodness, almost an own goal from Florida State off of the skate. Uh, let me see if I have his number. Steven Cusio for Florida State. Wow, it's actually on the roster. It's actually on the roster. I am shocked, but Deer's been trying to do work on that right wing, but Florida State's doing a good job like, of uh, blocking, blocking it down. Yeah, blocking the pucks with their skates, honestly. Not even with their sticks. They're playing soccer out there. <laughs> the World Cup was this year. All righty, Kennesaw State win the faceoff and send it behind the Florida State net. And another puck is sent wide out of play. See, that's what I'm worried about. If that puck is on our side, we're done. That's Broadca good. Broadcast over, we're going home. That's knocking my block off. All righty, Spizinski now on the faceoff. Kennesaw State come up with it yet again. They've been pretty consistent on winning these faceoffs tonight. Evan Deer now with the puck. Near side wing and a shot! Spizinski from Evan Deer! Putting it through the five hole of Ryan Gadbois. Beautiful setup there, Matt. And Kennesaw State bring the lead to within one. Your score now, Kennesaw State University one. The Florida State Seminoles too. They took the puck right behind. They took the puck right behind the net. Gabois going from one end to the other. Spazienti shoots it straight through his five hole. Fantastic play by Kennesaw Just State. Just like they drew it up, everyone. It's McDonald now on the faceoff. Kennesaw State not giving Florida time to breathe after that one. And it's Kennesaw State in their own zone. All right, Florida State with the puck in the neutral zone now. Confirmation that score by Spizinski, Drew Spizinski from Evan Deer on the assist. Kennesaw State battling for the puck in their own zone now, but Florida State managed to maintain possession. And a big hit laid on him by Testino and a stoppage in play as Thurston snaps up the puck in his glove side. Every time there's a stoppage in play, I kind of get I kind of get happy about it because Kennesaw is up 13 to 5 on faceoffs tonight, Matt. Good to know. I'm glad. They've been very consistent on the faceoffs. If they can convert off of more of those in transition and in transition, then I think they have a, uh, a real good shot at uh, sealing this game right up. Faceoff now in the defensive zone for Kennesaw State. But what do you know? They win the faceoff. It's Gagner now along the back of his own net to Mason Bright. Bright attempting to send one up to Arnold, but Florida State manages to corral the puck. They're in front of the net now. Some figure skating going on from Florida State, but Kennesaw sees right through that smoke and mirrors and corrals the puck anyway. Into the neutral zone now is Kennesaw State. Kennesaw State with the puck in the offensive zone. Tisdale, hard pass, bounces off of his stick, but Kennesaw State, this is Arnold now. Behind the puck, it looks like, or behind the net rather, it looks like he was attempting a little spinorama. Gagner with a slapper from the near side point. Just wide of the net. Mason Bright with a quick follow-up wrister. Some commotion in front, and Gadbois is forced to fall on the puck. Kennesaw State turning up the heat here in the ice center. Gadbois had to lay out for at least three or four pucks tonight, Matt. He, 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 he looks comfortable in his own net, but at the same time, he's laying all over the place. I'll tell you what, I'm a fan. All right, Kennesaw State win yet another faceoff in the offensive zone. This is Van der now. Vander Kirkov sending it behind the net. Ooh, it bounces in front of the Florida State net. Some commotion in front. But Kennesaw State now fighting for the puck behind the Florida State goal. Florida State managed to come up with it along the far side boards. Into the neutral zone and into the Kennesaw State Owls zone. Loft pass now. 
is brought down by Kennesaw State into the offensive zone. This is Evan Deer once again, a backhander just wide of the net. Kirkhoff left that one wide open. He could have driven a truck through that. Kennesaw State managed to maintain possession in the offensive zone and keep the pressure on. This is Vanda Kirkhoff now. Drops it off to Mason Bright. Sends it in front of the net, attempting to get the attention of Drew Spizinski, but not quite. Florida State now, ooh, an odd man rush developing for Florida State here in the offensive zone. Florida State sending one in front, and Thurston makes the save with a glove side. That was a fantastic save by Thurston. Oh, my goodness, and Spizinski with a monster hit along the near side boards once again. Now he's getting some words, and I love hockey, Matt. Ask not what you can do for, not what Drew can do for you, but what you can do for you, Drew. And some extracurricular activity here in front of the Kennesaw State net. I have a feeling someone's going to the box tonight, or tonight, right there. A little Let's bit see. of John Jackery. Has some words to say. Poor guy got his car broken into recently. <laughs> really? Oh, no, sorry, that is Ryan Moran. Oh, poor Ryan. Oh, I'm getting the names mixed up. But it's okay. Spizinski has words anyway. And he's letting Florida State hear it. Yes, he is. But it looks like, unfortunately, Gagner will be sent to the box for a timeout. Another Florida State power play? I'm not liking this. I believe so. Kennesaw State plays with aggression, but I'll tell you what, it is a, if every now and again a double-edged sword. And Kennesaw State now winning the faceoff in their own zone as Florida State with a minute 10 remaining. In the first period, Florida State will play out the rest of this power play. We'll play out the rest of this period with a power play, rather. Florida State crawling the puck in their own zone with one minute remaining in the period. The score, Florida State 2, Kennesaw State 1. 55 seconds now as Florida State bring it up to the far side boards. Cross center ice now. Florida State gain the offensive zone. Florida State along the near side boards. Near wing. Near point for Florida State. Florida State near wing. Send it behind the net. Commotion in front from Florida State, but turned aside by Thurston. A slapper from the far side point. A stop before it gets there by McDonald. McDonald up to Vanda Kirkov. To the near side boards. Oh my goodness. And it's going to be another penalty. Vanda Kirkov now. Having some words with Florida State's bench. The entire bench. He'll take them all. He doesn't care. He'll take them all, but Matt, I don't know who he's facing. Because there's no number. Oh, and we managed to draw a penalty on Florida State as well. So I'll tell you what. It's a three on four. I think it was worth it. I think it's worth it. That's, that's old-fashioned hockey. Back when we didn't have to worry about things like chronic traumatic encephalopathy. Or helmets. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> Vander Kirkhoff delivering a, kind of a late hit on that. I got to be I mean, honest. The Florida State guy got him right back. So I got to be honest. I think, I think it's an even call right there. Bit of a late hit in the referees now having some, wor having some words with Kennesaw State and Florida State. They know this one could get out of hand on short order. And I'll tell you what. I like the way Kennesaw is playing. What are they having words about how to take away our goal? Yeah, it should be 2-2 two -two right now. Because knowing them, they'll find a way. That they will. If this year's anything like last year, the refs are never in our favor, Matt. No, not even on our home turf. Our new home turf. Our brand new, shiny new, brand spanking new home turf. At the Marriott Ice Center in Brought to you Marietta, by Bradley's Georgia. Bar and Grill. They Your neighborhood bar where we do neighborly things. Did they sponsor us, Matt? No. But they can. But they can. They can. Hey, Bradley Spar and Grill, hit us up. We'll give you a shout out. <laughs> All righty, 21.8 seconds to play in this first period with a four on three, I believe. Just hanging out, having a little chat, cracking open a cold one. Running there over to the uh, concession stand, getting a Gatorade. <laughs> you know, got to stay hydrated out there, kids. Remember, kids, stay hydrated. Even when you're watching this absolute barn burner of a game. This is more of an MMA fight than a hockey game, Matt. <laughs> Just the way we like it. Are oh, they calling a major on Van, der, on Van der Kirkhoff? I honestly couldn't tell you. I think they might be. Yeah, it looks like a four-minute, maybe a double minor. Mm, yeah. Who's in the box right now? It looks like Ryan Moran. Moran <laughs> and Van der Kirkhoff. And? And... Uh, 
Oh, he's not on the not on the roster. We'll we'll get your name when you s when you skate on by, buddy. Sorry about that. I got I got to remake the list after this game, Matt. It looks like we have a actually a five on three here. Oh no! All right, Thurston, get your glove ready. You got a lot of you got a lot of things coming. If he can fight this one off for twenty one point eight seconds, we'll come into the uh, second period still short handed, but with a fresh set of legs. Looks like they did they take away the penalty on Florida State. I believe they did. Yes. Okay, so they took away the penalty on Florida State. And, and we have looks three like men in the box right now. And immediately a stoppage and play off of the faceoff. 18.8 seconds to play here in the first period. The score, Florida State 2, Kennesaw State 1. Looks like we have a minute four left on the uh, first power play and a minute 58 now on the second. 17 seconds to play now. Kennesaw State still managing to win the faceoffs, however. Florida State in the offensive zone now along the near side boards. Looking to make some magic happen before the end of the period. Sends one wide of the net is Florida State. Kennesaw now. Playing defensively, Kennesaw State managed to corral the puck and send it along the near side boards as the period expires. At the end of the first period here, ladies and gentlemen, your score, your Kennesaw State Fighting Owls 1, the Florida State Seminoles 2. We will be back with the second period of action here from the Marietta Ice Center. Don't go anywhere.
And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, for the second period of the Kennesaw State versus Florida State hockey game. Yes, indeed, and I'll tell you what. We're going into this second period, and the situation's looking a little dire. Down 2-1 with a two-man advantage for Florida State. For another 45 seconds and a minute 39 on the extended part of that power play. So it's, uh, it's not looking good, but if any defense can get it done, you know it's going to be the Kennesaw State University Fighting Owls defense. Luke Thurston and Goldmatt, anything's possible. I'll tell you what, we've been absolutely killing it on the faceoff, so hopefully we can use that to our advantage to uh, stave off some of this penalty time here. 17 to 5, Florida State just can't get anything going on faceoffs. You are not kidding, my man. And the shots spread out quite evenly amongst the players here. It looks like we have Testino and Spizinski with three shots, Deer with two, and then one apiece for Davis, Bright, Vendikirkov, Gagner, and Mason Bright. As we line up here now, for the beginning of the second period, the puck is dropped, and what do you know? Kennesaw State win the faceoff. However, Florida State managed to crawl the puck in the offensive zone. Davis immediately gets the puck back and attempts to clear, but Florida State is on that one. Florida State now with the puck in the offensive zone, sending a shot on goal, turned aside by Thurston. Far boards now, Wes Davis. Skating for the puck behind his own net. Florida State behind the Kennesaw net now. Cross ice pass to the near boards for Florida State. A big slapper is turned aside by Berezinski. And we are in the neutral zone. And Kennesaw State with a three, with a two man disadvantage, put a shot on goal against Florida State and almost get the rebound. Kennesaw State now in the offensive zone. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is just hilarious to me. But Florida State now. Almost had an odd man rush, but Kennesaw State's defense was quick to get back, and a wrist shot is turned aside by McDonald and cleared yet again. Kennesaw State managed to fight off the five on three and now are down one man for 35 more seconds. I'm sorry, about five on three, and we got a shot on goal? Absolutely. You heard it. You heard it correctly. All right. Florida State send a long Hail Mary down into the Kennesaw State zone, to which Kennesaw State say thank you very much. We will take that and send another one your way. Through the five hole of the referee, that was awesome. 18.34 left in the second period of play and 10 seconds on the last power play here that Kennesaw State incurred during the closing minutes of the first period. Kennesaw State now, allowing Florida into the neutral zone but not much further as Kennesaw State corral the puck in their own zone and send it into the Florida State zone where Florida State get the puck back. Spysinski now with the puck on the near side boards into the Florida State zone. That's Tisdale now with the puck along the near boards. Kennesaw State fighting for possession behind the Kennesaw net and come up with a decentering pass is almost put on goal. Now it's Mason Bright along the far side boards. Kennesaw State now. Allowing Florida State some time to breathe as Florida State skates it up into the neutral zone and then dumps it in to Kennesaw State in their own zone. Kennesaw State immediately send one back into the Florida State zone where the puck is corralled by Spysinski. Spysinski and Arnold now fighting for it on the near side boards, or on the far side boards rather, my apologies. And Florida State come up with the puck yet again. Florida State now. Fighting with Kennesaw for possession behind their own net. And Kennesaw come up with it, an attempted centering pass or shot there by Arnold turned aside. And now Florida State with an odd man rush. But Kennesaw State's defense quick to get back as usual. Florida State attempting a pass, or a shot rather, stopped before it got there, and Tisdale put a mean hit on the sender of that shot. And some big hits now along the... Oh my goodness, a huge hit by Tisdale. And it's a penalty. Another penalty on Kennesaw, man? That'll be boarding against Tisdale. I mean, I get it. You want to you beat the crap out of Florida State, but you literally do it. You're going to the box. At what cost? Looks like Aaron Tisdale laid the hit and he is now taking a seat on that wooden bench. 16.59 to play in this second period here. Kennesaw State one, Florida State two. And Florida State with a fresh two minutes of five on four hockey. Looks like Gagner went to the bench there to Catch a breather, but the ref called him right back. Grab a little like, Gatorade. Your, your shift's not done yet. 
All righty, and we have McDonald in for the faceoff. Florida State comes up with it. Florida State now on the near side point, sending it along the near boards. Popped up into the air in front for Gagner to corral and eventually clear into the neutral zone where Florida State grabs the puck right on back. Florida State now back into Kennesaw's zone. Uh, attempting to send one in front, almost got by Thurston. Another wrister sent from the high point, and oh my goodness, Thurston with pad save after pad save. He's a brick wall. From the seat of his pants, three in a row, Matt. Absolutely incredible. All righty. Florida State with the puck in their own zone now, scratching their head saying, what do we have to do to get another goal? We've had a power play for ages, it seems. Kennesaw State now. Attempting to corral the puck in their own zone, and they do. This is Vanda Kirkov sending one. A nice little clear along the far side boards to Gadbois to receive. Gadbois dumps it off to the near boards, and Florida State back on the offensive. Until Kennesaw State corral the puck back on down. Florida State fighting for possession in the Kennesaw zone now. And Kennesaw State send it all the way down the near side boards into the Florida State zone. Just barely off sides for Kennesaw State, so they will relinquish control until Florida State gifts it right back to them in their own zone. Immediately sent down to the boards here by Kennesaw State. Out in front, a centering pass for Kennesaw State. There's some confusion in front. Oh my goodness. Oh, get out of here. Get this man out of here. More it, words exchanged, Matt. Did you expect nothing less? It looks like number 26 for Kennesaw State got tangled up in the goaltender. And... Number three for Florida State took offense and tried sending some shots to the head of number 26 for Kennesaw State. That'll earn him some time in the penalty box. Actually, rather, it looks like it was Teal. Teal in the red jersey. Wait, Teal and Larson. Let's go. Two men in the box for Florida State and one. That's what you get Kennesaw for going State. after the head of a player who just got tangled up in the goaltender. Yeah. Talk about a coward move. I mean, you're on skates. It's hard enough to keep your balance as it is. So you got to go after the head of someone for Unbelievable. it? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You know what? I expect nothing less from Florida State. It looks State. like the clock is still running. Maybe stop the clock. 15, 27, 26, 25, 24 to play in the second period, 23. Are we running some time off, I believe? I think so. All right, 15, 22 is where they'll stop the, the clock. In the second period of play, Florida State 2, Kennesaw State 1, but it looks like Kennesaw State may end up with a man advantage when it's all said and done. Refs are still having the conversation. Matt, do you think they're talking about Bradley's Bar and Grill? I think they're talking about Bradley's Bar and Grill, the neighborhood bar where they do neighborly things there, like key your car and shoot your dog. Please sponsor us. We never said they were good neighbors. <laughs> all righty. Uh, it looks like just one penalty assessed here. Larson allowed out of the box. And Kennesaw State. McDonald for the faceoff here in the offensive zone. And it'll be even strength four on four hockey, just the way we like it for 22 seconds. And then Kennesaw State will get a rare opportunity with a man advantage. A shot or a centering pass sent by Kennesaw State. Just barely fumbled there. Van der Kirkhoff now skating around with it. He's at the high point, sending a hard wrister on goal. But turned aside by Gadbois. This is West Davis now along the near side boards. And another shot snapped up by Gadbois with 14.57 left to play here in the second period at the Marietta Ice Center. Kennesaw State coming out with a man advantage after the stoppage of play, Matt. We will have a minute 36 of a man advantage for Kennesaw State University. Let's see if we can put a scoring drive together. Tied this game up. That'd be nice. I would like to see us go home with a W against Florida State, Matt. You have no idea. Vanda Kirkov now. Sending it along the near boards to Bright. Bright now. Sending it along behind the Florida State net to Davis. Davis skating with it on the far side wing. Davis centering pass to Deer, not quite. Vanda Kirkov now. Sending it along to Bright. Vanda Kirkov with it again. Over to Davis, who puts a quick wrister on goal and a big, juicy one in front of the net. Can't be buried by Kennesaw State, but that's all right. Something's telling me we'll get more of those. It's Davis now with the puck behind his own net. Sending it along the near boards to Vanda Kirkov. 
Stick gets caught up in a Florida State defenseman, but let's go wisely and no call. Good no call. Oh, Florida State comes up with a puck here. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. And a backhand turned aside by Wes Davis. Not much effort put into that backhand, to be honest with you. All righty. This is Ian McDonald here along the near boards. That's Davis sending it to Vander Kirkov on the near side. McDonald now fighting for the puck, but Florida State managed to clear with 23 seconds left in the Kennesaw State power play and 1340 left to play in the second period. This is Tisdale bringing it up along the near side. A floater comes our way, but not quite. Stays in play. A little too close for comfort. A little on that too map. close for comfort, but I'll tell you what. That we watch a lot of hockey. Five seconds left now. Kennesaw State may have time for one more shot on goal. No, the penalty expires. We are back to full strength five on five hockey here at the Marietta Ice Center as Kennesaw State maintains offensive possession. Berezinski loses an edge. But Gagner grabs the puck, but is it an icing? against Florida State University, and that's coming all the way back down to the Kennesaw State offensive zone. Matt, looks like Justin Berezinski down there having some words with Teal from Florida State. Looks like we're gonna, th that was not the end of the rough play between these two teams. I don't think it was, and I'll tell you what, I like it. I mean, I'm not against it. All righty, Kennesaw State losing the rare face off today somehow maintain offensive possession and dumping it back in is Kennesaw State. This is Kennesaw along the near boards now. Florida State managed to come up with the puck along the near boards. Skating with it now is, Ken is Florida State, rather. Gagner looking to put the stop to this. High point now, a wrist or put on goal, but stop before it gets there by Kennesaw State. Along the near boards now is Kennesaw State in the offensive zone in the neutral zone, but it is skittered on back into the Kennesaw State zone. Berezinski now, over to Gagner, who waits with the puck before sending it along the near boards to Arnold. In the offensive zone now is Kennesaw State, but we have a stoppage in play off sides. That puck just danced over the blue line and Arnold tried to save it. Just a bit late on that. Unfortunate. We have a full change now. And some fresh legs on the ice, Matt. Back on the ice is Bright, Vandekirkov, Spysinski, Evan Deer, and I believe that is Josh Berzinski as well. Vandekirkov now with the puck behind Florida State's net with a full head of steam. Bringing it along the far boards now. A wrister from the high point by Vandekirkov. Stop before it gets there. Berzinski now coming up with the puck, attempting to send it along back to the neutral zone, but can't quite. Florida State with the puck in the neutral zone, managed to dump it into the Kennesaw State zone now, and this is Bright with the puck behind his own net. Bright, sending one cross ice to Deer. Deer, center ice to Vander Kirkov, but tipped just before it gets to him for Florida State to grab possession. Near side boards now in the neutral zone for Florida State, into the offensive zone for Florida State. This is Evan Deer with the puck behind his own net. With a full head of steam, managing to skate it out almost out of his own zone. Just barely dancing on the blue line, and a big hit put on Spysinski by Florida State. This is Kennesaw State now. This is uh, to, uh, Totino. Testino, rather. And no goal that is waved off. My goodness. Testino put a nice shot on Testino. goal, kicked up in the air. I'm not sure if that was hit in with a high stick or if someone just punched it in, but either way, Matt, the refs steal another goal from us. Yet another goal. Should be 3-2, but the boys in black and white rob us again. Unfortunate. They are criminals. <laughs> All righty, Florida State winning the odd face off tonight. Setting it past the neutral zone into the Kennesaw State zone. Florida State, oh my goodness, look for a centering pass, but Davis laid out for that one, sacrificing the body. This is Testino now on the near side boards. Testino making a man miss, skating around with the fancy footwork. Oh, just barely sent behind Gagner. And now Kennesaw State with the puck in their own zone. Matt, I guess you could say with that move, Testino put him on skates. Put him on skates yet again. I'm he's never going to get tired of saying that. He's got the handles, that's for sure. Like Sham God. All righty. 
And a stoppage in play, I believe another offsides. Another, and it was a late hit after the whistle there by Florida State. Oh, another penalty? Oh, no, no dice. That late hit, Testino looked square on the ref in the eye and said, you gonna do anything about this? No, we work for Florida State. All righty, face-off now, won by Kennesaw State yet again. That's Berezinski dumping it in to the Florida State zone. Kennesaw State with possession. Behind the Florida State net. Florida State managed to jostle Kennesaw off the puck, but only momentarily, it seems. Kennesaw State keeping it in the offensive zone. That has to be grabbed and held by Gadbois. Nice little turn of events there. Puck finds its way into the, into the mitt of Gadbois. Indeed, Kennesaw State thus far has done quite well at keeping the puck in the offensive zone. Any pressure we can put on him is good pressure. You are not kidding. Berezinski now. Puck at the near side point. Bounces off the boards awkwardly into the neutral zone. Kennesaw State maintain possession, however. Kennesaw State bouncing one off the near boards right up in front of us to um, Tisdale now with the puck on the near side boards and it's sent all the way down to the Florida State zone for an icing. That's coming back. Matt, that puck popped up so close I could have reached out and grabbed it. Hope you brought your catcher's mitt, Andrew. Nope, just my hands. Those are, those are mitts as well. Matt, I don't know how to respond to that. <laughs> <laughs> you made well, this weird for we'll me, get, man. We'll get better at banter as the season progresses, <laughs> you that's made for sure. this weird for me. Arnold along the far side boards now. That's Tisdale with the puck. Florida State managed to maintain possession, however, in their own zone, but Kennesaw State grab it once again, offensive. Kennesaw State, this is Tisdale with the puck behind the Florida State net. Kennesaw fighting for possession and come up with it. That's Berezinski along the near side boards, bringing it behind the Florida State net. Kennesaw now. Puck on the near boards, Florida State jostled them off. Florida State with a full head of steam coming into the Kennesaw zone, but immediately bumped off the puck by Vandekirkov. And Berezinski. A shot stopped before it gets to the net. By Florida State. And another wrister put on goal. As a slapper, rather. Just barely turned aside by Luke Thurston. It took a couple redirects before it got there. Florida State with the puck behind their opposing net now. Kennesaw State managed to jostle Florida off the puck and send it into the bench <laughs> for a stoppage in play. Oh, if that puck was a, foot, if it was a foot to the right, it would have nailed number five in the jaw. I think he deserves it. <laughs> why, are we, why are we out here trying to hurt people, Matt? I got a question. What's your question, Matt? Why is number eight wearing a helmet that says number 88? Matt, why are there three number eights? <laughs> Florida needs to make up their mind. Oh, my goodness. Bright almost sending sending a souvenir up to us. Did you see that? Yeah. yeah that, I was, saw uh, it. that was coming close. I saw it. I'm a little worried. And I, yeah, I saw it, Matt. He just wanted us to have a souvenir. He probably signed it before he sent it up here, too. Yeah, but it's a little bit of energy <laughs> on it. Kennesaw State winning the faceoff in their own zone yet again. Kennesaw State along the near boards now. Vanda Kirkov fighting for the puck on the near boards. Sent back into Kennesaw's zone for Mason Bright. Bright now along the near boards yet again. Getting taken down and another one in return for Kennesaw State. And we have a stoppage in play, I believe, perhaps a penalty. Looked like tripping. I'm not sure on who, though. This is correct. Kennesaw got his feet taken straight out from under him, but in return, I saw a clear trip. Yeah, it looks trip. like we have tripping. I yeah. saw a clear trip by us, so I'm not sure who it is. I believe the stoppage was before our trip. Yeah. Look at that. The uh, Florida State box opening up. And one of the eights is going in. Not sure which one. Kennesaw That's State a with a fresh two minutes of five-on-four hockey with 8.48 remaining in the second period here at the Marietta Ice Center. The score still, Kennesaw State 1, Florida State 2. Face-off in the offensive zone now for Kennesaw State. Come up with the puck yet again. This is Vandekirkov on the near point. Popped up into the air. Vandekirkov yet again. This is Deer now with the puck in the neutral zone. Deer. Manages to fight it back in. Oh, and Deer is down. And it looks like we will get a stoppage here. We 
We have a stoppage here. The arena went quiet. A lot of yelling going on, Matt. I agree. Kind of looked Deer like took a big shot. Took some manhandling on the way down. Didn't look like the cleanest play I've ever seen. Nah, got sandwiched between two Florida states. May have got an arm caught and a stick and got bent the wrong way, but either way, what. that was not the cleanest hit in the world, and he is feeling that. I hope he's okay for the, the second game tomorrow, Matt. He managed to skate off the ice, grab a drink of water. I think he'll be all right, but just in case. Hey, Matt, he watches a lot of hockey. He <laughs> I hear he watches a lot of hockey. All righty, a Florida State loss on the power play again. I don't even know why I'm saying that. Kennesaw State win the faceoff yet again in their own zone and send it cross ice now to Testino. Testino along the near boards. Dropping it down to Tisdale, near wing. Oh, just barely bounced over the stick of Gagner as Kennesaw State managed to crowd the puck in their own zone yet again. Fighting for it is Teal. What a pest that guy is. I don't much care for him. All right, Gagner now with the puck in his own zone. Sending it cross ice to Testino. That seems to be the move. Oh, the pass is intercepted by Teal. Uh, pass could be intercepted by a color, but a one-on-one -on -one shot, a decent opportunity there for Teal is turned aside by the shoulder of Luke Thurston. Did you expect anything else? Testino now on the near boards. Kennesaw State, puck in the neutral zone. 44 seconds remaining in the Kennesaw State power play. 7.25 remaining in the second period. And Kennesaw State with the puck in their own zone. This is Berezinski now. Attempting to send one cross ice to Spicinski, but it's popped up out of, out of play. Straight into the PA announcer's lap. <laughs> 31 seconds left in the power play. Doesn't look like we can get much energy out there, Matt. I hope we can uh, make a little push towards the end of this. I agree, Andrew. Face off in the neutral zone now. One by Kennesaw State. Kennesaw with the puck in the offensive zone now. This is Vandekirkov now, one-on-one, -on -one, doing some work on the near wing. Vandekirkov. With a slapper from the high point just wide of the net. That one had some stank on it. Vandekirkov now, high point. Drops it off to McDonald on the far side point. Down to Wes Davis on the far wing. Far point now McDonald. Two seconds remaining and one second and the penalty will expire on Florida State. We are back at full strength five on five hockey. Florida State struggling to gain possession and it's Kennesaw State coming up with the puck again in front. And Florida State managed to clear but I believe this will be no icing as Thurston. Sends one out to McDonald who bangs it along to the near boards to Van der Vandekirkov now doing some work on the near wing. It pops on over to the far side boards to Wes Davis. Sends one out to neutral ice where Bright is waiting. However, Florida State managed to retain possession and send it back in to the Kennesaw zone. Bright now with the puck. Bright to Deer. Deer sending one up to McDonald. McDonald's a fast skater. He can have a one-on-one. -on -one. Gets by a man. Sends a backhand. He scores! Oh, my goodness. It doesn't get any better than this. Ian McDonald. The pass from Evan Deer. Ian McDonald skates the length of the ice, makes a man look silly, and buries it into the back of the net off of a backhand. Ryan Gadbois is a wet tissue paper nowadays, ladies and gentlemen. He's letting everything through. And Kennesaw State ties this game up two to two here at the Marietta Ice Center with 5.53 remaining in the second period. Rare to see moves like that, Matt. McDonald just absolutely made him look like a fool. Florida Crossing State him now. over on ice. How do you pull that off? And now it's Arnold with another one-on-one -on -one situation. We have a fast break. Arnold putting a wrist on goal stop before it gets there. Arnold with the puck behind the net now. Attempting to fight behind the net here for possession of the puck. Florida State managed to gain possession but send it right on over to Berezinski who dumps it right behind the uh, Florida State goal yet again. This is Florida State with the puck now. Florida State dumps it off to Bright who sends it behind the net yet again. This is Tisdale now sending it behind the net looking for I believe Arnold. 
but Florida State looking for a clear but can't get it. A slapper put on goal from Berezinski. Blocked before it gets there, however. Fighting along the far side boards now for this puck. It is a brutal game for puck possession. It's offsides. However, Florida State grab possession. And Kennesaw make a line change. Vander Kirkhoff now with the puck in the offensive zone. Looking for a centering pass, nothing doing. Spysinski comes up with the puck, however. Kennesaw State managed to maintain possession. This is Deer along the near side wing, or far side wing. Putting a shot on goal, poked at, but held by Ryan Gadbois. They are giving him the business nowadays. Good to see Deer back in there, he's not hurt. Comes right back in the game, gets another shot on goal. He rubs some snow in it, he's good. They have snow back there? Or snow cones? Do I got snow cones here? I could go for a snow cone. I could go for a snow cone. What flavor snow cone do you like, Matt? I like a mix. I like a blueberry and a green apple. Mm, see, I like the, the half and half blue and red. Blue and red, the classics. I, I do like that. Andrew's a fan of the classics, like Marvin Gaye. All righty. <laughs> Along the far side boards now. It is Evan Deer doing some work behind the net yet again. Look at this. You wouldn't even know he came off the ice. All righty. Florida State managed to send one down to the far side boards in the Kennesaw zone. That's Berezinski sending one along the near side boards now. Into the neutral zone. Four minutes left in this second period. We are all tied up two to two. A slapper put on goal. Turned aside by Luke Thurston, making it look easy. He has locked down that side of the net. Back into the Florida State zone now. Gadbois fans on a pass. And Kennesaw State almost come up with possession yet again. But Florida State now. Pass neutral ice into the Kennesaw zone. Bumped off the puck by Gagner. Big hit. And now another big hit from Gagner. He's doing all the work. Fighting for the puck along the near side boards now. Kennesaw State with the puck in their own zone. This is McDonald now. Coming up into neutral ice. Vander Kirkov now. Near side boards. Puts a wrister on goal stop before it gets there. Behind the net now is Vander Kirkov with the puck. Vander Kirkov to the far side point. Bright. Puts a wrister on goal, rebound. Still fighting for the puck now. Put a shot on goal and it's turned aside, my goodness. Just barely turned aside the shot by Van de Kirkov, I believe. Matt Gadbois was on his back. It looks like he might have just shot that high over the crossbar because Gadbois had no chance of stopping that no matter what. All righty. Looks like they may be talking about a possible penalty, but a uh, lot, uh, lot of energy on that ice tonight. Florida State, Kennesaw State going straight at each other. I don't know why a ref is down there talking to Thurston. He wasn't even a part of that play. Maybe he's talking about that amazing save they got. As of tonight, though, Kennesaw State absolutely destroying Florida State on the faceoffs. The count is 24 to 10. That is Kennesaw State's game. Looks like an offensive zone faceoff for Florida State, and there is a power play on Kennesaw. Florida State takes the faceoff back down to center ice as they move back and control the puck. All right, Kennesaw State now looking for possession along the far boards. Can't quite make it happen. Kennesaw State now. Puck is in their own zone, but they're fighting for it along the near boards. This is, I believe, Bright and Davis fighting for the puck along the near boards. Managed to get it out past neutral ice into the Florida State zone. Davis with a full head of steam looking to fight for the puck and manages to come up with it, a centering pass. No, he holds on to it. A slapper is sent up into the net by Wes Davis. I have no idea why, but there's box seats up there. I don't know why they flinched at that punk coming up there. Yeah, they they're have a net and a glass there. They're behind glass and a net. Interesting. They must not watch a lot of hockey. All righty. Florida State coming up with the puck now. Along the near side boards. Cross ice now. Florida State in the neutral territory. Kennesaw State managed to bump Florida State off the puck now in Kennesaw with the puck in the offensive zone. However, Florida State get it on back and bring it into the offensive zone for them. Kennesaw State on the back foot now. 
Kennesaw State with the puck behind their own net. This is Kennesaw now in their own zone, pass neutral ice all the way down. Oh, we're playing shorthanded. There was a penalty. All right, 40 seconds remaining on the Florida State power play. Vandekirkov now looking to fight for it, and that's also bright on the near side boards. Florida State skate into the, oh my goodness, looking to skate in front of the net, but Kennesaw State poke it off and clear it all the way back down to Gadbois. Florida State, no rest for the wicket, however. Florida State, puck back into the offensive zone for them. This is Bright. Bright losing the puck. Florida State managed to try a centering pass, but nothing doing. Another centering pass is sent by Florida State, and it is just slept on. Near boards now, some battling for the puck. Vanda Kirkhoff comes up with it, and this is Tisdale. Tisdale making a man miss, puts a wrister on goal, turned aside by Gadbois, rebound Vanda, Vanda Kirkhoff. One minute here remaining. In the second period of play, we are all tied up two to two. Near boards now. This is Florida State sending one on goal, turned aside by the blocker of Luke Thurston. Wes Davis with the puck in his own zone now, banking one off the near boards, looking for Testino, but finding Tisdale. Tisdale dropping one off to Davis, who dumps it into the Florida State zone. This is Bright now, back over to Davis. Sending it behind the net yet again. This is Tisdale behind the net with the puck. Sending it out in front, some commotion in front and a Florida State player gets sent tumbling. I don't care how many pads you have under that hockey jersey, a fall straight on the ice like that has to hurt a little bit. Just a little bit, I agree. Looks like Testino's having some words down there with uh, number 70. Of course it's Teal. It's always Teal. What a pest. 21.4 seconds remaining in the second period of play here. I do not like that guy, Matt. There's always that guy. Every team has one. All righty. Kennesaw State winning the offensive faceoff. This is Wes Davis now with a wrister from the far side wing off of Gadbois. Rebound is loose currently, but Florida State comes up with a puck back into the neutral zone and into the Kennesaw State zone. Kennesaw State now corral the puck in their own zone. Along the far side boards, it's Kennesaw State. And that will be it, everyone, for the second period of play here at the Marietta Ice Center. The score, Florida State Seminoles to your Kennesaw Fighting Owls have roared back to tie the game two to two. We will be back momentarily with the third period of play. Don't go anywhere, everyone, because we have a barn burner in game one of this two game series here in Marietta, Georgia.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Marriott Ice Center for the third period of Kennesaw State versus Florida State. The score tied up at two, a fresh 20 minutes on the clock, and here we go, Matt. Third period about to get underway here. McDonald on the faceoff yet again, wins the faceoff yet again, and immediately dumps it into the Florida State zone. Kennesaw back to the old ways as usual. Florida State now. Attempting to deal with this onslaught from Kennesaw State. Nothing doing. McDonald's still with the puck now on the far side board. Centering past to Bright. Oh, just barely gets away from his stick. It's along the near side boards now. It's a battle. This is Gagner. One popped right up into the ceiling you know, Matt, of I the Marietta Ice Center. Yes, I, sir. I stuck my head over the railing to check out where the puck was because the table's kind of blocking my view here. He shot that straight up. I don't appreciate that. That could have taken your head off. I don't appreciate that. That's targeting. Not only are they trying to hurt the players, they're trying to hurt the announcers. Spizinski lining up for the faceoff after a nice little dance there. Evan Deer now with the puck behind the Florida State goal. Deer, far side boards, sending it back around to Vandekirkov. Vandekirkov on the near side board, sending one up here to Gagner, but it gets away from them. And Kennesaw State chase it down into their own zone. Kennesaw State puck in their own zone. Florida State actually manages to corral the puck, but only momentarily as Kennesaw State regains possession. Oh, <laughs> jukes a man out of his shoes there. Jukes Teal out of his shoes, actually. All right, Kennesaw State with the puck in the neutral zone. Now this is Spicinski sending it along the far side boards into the Florida State territory as Kennesaw makes a line change and hurries into the offensive zone. Kennesaw State looking to make a move here early in the third period. Lofted just back. Barely leaving the Florida State zone for an offside. Yeah, Van de Kirkhoff looked like a goalie out there dropping to his knees trying to save that. I appreciate the effort. Hey, if Thurston, I think if, that if, was I think that was Brzezinski. If Thurston gets hurt or both of our goalies get hurt, at least we know we got a credible backup. <laughs> a backup, backup. I agree. This is Tisdale on the faceoff and some shoving getting underway, but Kennesaw State ultimately coming up with it before losing it to Florida State. Florida State now with the puck in the neutral zone along the near boards. Dumping it back into their own zone before poking it up along into the Kennesaw zone. Kennesaw State now. Bright with the puck behind his own net. Before being sent around to Berezinski and along the near side boards to Arnold. Arnold getting it up into Florida State territory but only in the neutral zone now. Now it's in Florida State territory, territory as Florida State corral the puck. Kennesaw State putting the pressure on, though, establishing the four check here in the third period. Bright now with the puck in the neutral zone. Dumps it back to Berezinski. Berezinski to up to Arnold as Arnold dumps it into the Florida State zone once again. It's a battle along the far side boards now. Kennesaw State just barely losing the puck to Florida State. Now Florida State managed to gain the offensive zone, but an offsides is called. Doesn't matter that offside. Thurston read that puck the entire way straight into his net. Snapped it up. Into his net. Into his glove. His the glove. net of his glove, man. The net of his glove. The net of his glove. All right, fair play. I don't need that from you. All right. 17 minutes and 49 seconds remaining here. 17 minutes and 49 seconds here remaining in the third period as Florida State win the faceoff in the neutral zone and dump it in behind the Kennesaw State goal. Kennesaw State now regained possession, however, along the far boards. Cross ice pass sent up into the fans. And out of play for a stoppage and another neutral ice faceoff. A lot of yelling down there. They did not want to get hit. Then again, that glass is just over six feet tall, so most of the population of KSU is safe. Wow, oh, man. You go to this school. <laughs> Why you got to trash them like that? All righty. A puck sent all the way back down into the Florida State zone. No icing as Kennesaw State rushes in after it. But Florida State managed to keep possession of the puck and send one up. We got a one-on-one -on -one here situation, a breakaway for Florida State as he skates it all the way into the waiting blocker of Luke Thurston. Florida State with the puck in Kennesaw territory now. Florida State looking for a centering pass, nothing doing. A slapper from the far side point trickles past Thurston, but wide of the net anyway. Florida State now, high point with the puck. A wrister looking for the redirect, not going to happen. Thurston was on that one, pinballed it away with the blocker. Florida State maintaining possession now in the offensive zone before Kennesaw State managed to clear. Kennesaw now taking a minute 
to make a line change before rushing into the offensive zone. This is Vanda Kirkov skating around to the far side boards and up out into the neutral ice. Vanda Kirkov with the puck yet again. Trying to dump it in. Finds the waiting stick of a Florida State defenseman. Florida State gain the offensive zone yet again. Kennesaw back on defense, making it snappy. Vanda Kirkov with the puck here along the far boards, cross ice to center ice to Spysinski before it is poked away by Florida State. Florida State attempting a cross ice pass to absolutely no one but awaiting Kennesaw State forward. Kennesaw State bumping Florida off of the puck very violently, I would say. And Kennesaw State attempting to regain the offensive zone, and they do. Kennesaw State battling for it. Come up with the puck behind the Florida State net. A backhand wraparound attempt. Not quite going to happen. This is Berezinski now sending it to the near boards. Gagner sends a hard wrister. Bumped wide of the net before it gets there. Berezinski now over to Gagner yet again in the offensive zone. This is Kennesaw State with 15.25 remaining in the third period of play. This is Arnold now with the puck, dropping it off before it is picked up by Florida State and sent along the near boards. Florida State into the neutral zone and eventually the Kennesaw State zone before he gets made a sandwich of by Kennesaw State. The puck now just kind of chilling in Kennesaw State zone before Kennesaw rush back to corral the puck and clear it into the neutral ice. 14.55 remaining in this third period of play here. We are tied two to two between Florida State and Kennesaw State University. This is bright now along the near boards. A centering pass to Testina who's waiting but looked like he got wrapped up there by the defenseman. Bright now with a slapper from the far side, from the near side point, just wide of the net, just barely. And Kennesaw State now back with the puck in their own zone. This is Bright, sending it cross ice to Gagner. He loses the puck along the near side boards. This is Florida State now, a hard slapper from the near side wing and a wraparound shot and a stoppage in play before a goal can be assessed. Are the refs actually gonna play it fair and take a goal away from Florida State here? Interesting. They can finally know how it feels. Looks like the net was jostled loose. Thank God, because Thurston, look, I don't know if it was ran into, but it looks like he lost his balance a little bit. He just made, the, get, he made the hard save on the near side. And just barely, oh my goodness, and it makes another great save with his stick side, poking it up above the net. Kennesaw State now managed to regain possession of the puck and recollect their thoughts here in their own zone before skating into the neutral ice. This is Bright. Bright sending one cross ass, cross, <laughs> cross ice. <laughs> into cross, cross ice, into, you know, it's been a long day. Cross ice into the Florida State zone. This is Testino now putting a hit along the near boards before a stoppage in play. And a slashing penalty will be assessed to, I believe, Kennesaw State University. Yep, that's on Kennesaw. They skated away with their heads down, you knew. Bright. Taking Mitchell two minutes Bright. for a slash. One half of the Bright brothers. I agree. That, you know, we could be brothers that play hockey. But we, like, but we can't skate. I can't skate very well, but we could try. We could we could try, but I'm also graduating next semester. Yeah, poor guy. Yeah. Going out in the real world. It's going to be a bummer. Anyway, <laughs> on that note, Wes Davis on the faceoff. Florida State come up with it. Far side point now for Florida State on yet another power play. 150 remaining in this Florida State power play and 13.33 remaining in the third period of play here at the Marietta Ice Center. Florida State losing the puck to Kennesaw State who send it all the way around the ice for a clear. Florida State now playing keep away in their own zone. Florida State bring it up into the neutral ice. Center ice now and gain the zone. Gain the zone on the far side, a shot sent wide of the net. And along the near boards now, Kennesaw State fighting for possession yet again. A hard wrister. Finds its way to Luke Thurston, but he snaps it up and hangs onto the puck for a stoppage in play with 1.16 remaining in the Florida State power play. That shot didn't have a chance. They hit him square on the center of the owl on his chest. Is it now? It's more of a KS with wings. I think it's a KS with wings, Andrew. 
All righty. Face off immediately won by Kennesaw State, and they get a nice clear down to Gadbois, I believe his name is. I forget. Florida State taking it along the far side boards now. Gain the neutral zone and eventually the offensive zone. Kennesaw State, that's Thurston. A high puck sailing by him. He snaps it up with the glove side. 59 seconds remaining in this Florida State power play with 12.44 remaining in the third period. Looking like an outfielder out there making that catch. I agree. All righty. Berzinski with the puck in his own zone. Tries to clear, but Florida State keep it in. Kennesaw State looking to clear again. Eventually do. This is McDonald with the puck off the clear from Berzinski. McDonald maintaining possession of the puck. Very good stick handling there. And this is Berezinski now in behind the Florida State net looking to make some odd man rush happen here. I like it. And he eventually just decides to drop it on off into the Florida State zone to kill some time with 20 seconds remaining in this Florida State power play and 12 minutes even in the third period. This is Spizinski meeting the Florida State player and neutral ice. Eventually corralling the puck and sending it into the Florida State zone. All right, Florida State just kind of standing around behind their own net with the puck. It's not how you're going to score goals, guys. Florida State eventually dump it into the Kennesaw zone. Kennesaw State immediately send it right on back out for an icing. This is coming back. 11.31 remaining in the third period and a penalty killed successfully by Kennesaw State yet again. I'll tell you what, they've been assessed several penalties this game. However, not a ton of damage coming from it. Their penalty kill is doing a great job, Matt. Killing off a lot of them and even that two on uh, that two man advantage earlier in the second period. Yeah, that was a very good thing for the morale of Kennesaw State, I can imagine. Florida State trying to send a wrister wide. Blocked aside before he got to the net. Kennesaw State, this is Bright with the puck in his own zone. Florida State managed to come up with the puck in front of the net now, trying to poke at it, but it is snapped up by the waiting glove of Luke Thurston yet again. Really awkward save there. Didn't have a lot of speed. It was like a knuckleball almost. <laughs> Floated its way all the way in. Right. Whose playlist on Spotify do you think he's using right now? Hopefully his own. Hopefully. I'll fast look, man, the I don't judge. All righty, Florida State winning the power play yet again. All right, putting a shot on goal, but it sails higher than net. Kennesaw State, the puck in their own zone now. Oh, offensive, that's a shot by Tisdale. Rebound shot by Kennesaw State in transition like we were talking about earlier. They are making magic happen. That was Tisdale on the shot, a really hard one at the face of Gadbois. Kennesaw State maintain offensive possession only momentarily, however. Florida State with the puck in the neutral zone. Gain the offensive zone yet again. Trying to put a shot on goal, but it is very wide in the net. Kennesaw State with the puck yet again. Oh my goodness, a cross ice pass almost spells disaster for Kennesaw State. But you can always count on the boy, Luke Thurston. On his game since those two early goals, he hasn't let anything through. He has chalked up 26 saves thus far. It's a pretty good night. It is a very good night. For Luke Thurston. Say first game of the season, they did not make it easy on him. Florida State's really trying to get something past him, but I mean, that hey, they are. He's shutting them down. Yes, he is, and he's doing well. He's, he looks good doing it. All righty. West Davis now with the puck off of a successful faceoff for Kennesaw State. Into the offensive zone now. This is Testino attempting to run for the puck, but Florida State managed to get there before he. Attempting a cross ice pass as Florida State grabbed up by Berezinski in the Kennesaw State zone. Berezinski attempting a cross ice pass here to Bright, nothing doing. Kennesaw State maintain possession of the puck in their own zone. Davis now to the far boards and Testino. Testino looking for McDonald. Oh, instead decides to send a hard wrister. Gadbois lost the puck there, it popped up behind his head. And some commotion in front of the net yet again as stop play. How many times have the refs tonight called a stoppage in play from Gadbois, even though he does not have control of the puck? I couldn't tell you. I'm starting to think uh, we might have a Florida State alumni down there in the stripes, Matt. <laughs> I think you're right. A face-off won by Florida State here. 
9.59 remaining in the third period of play. A centering pass or perhaps a wrist shot by Kennesaw State. Stop before it gets there and another shot put on goal by Kennesaw State in some extracurricular activity between Deer and the entire Florida State roster in front of the net. He'll take on all comers. He doesn't matter. Spicinski a little slow to get up. That seems to be the story tonight uh, is a Deer versus Florida State. I mean, he is really giving it to him at every turn. Hey, what? He's holding his own, though. My goodness. Yeah. Thought he was hurt. Not came right back in the game. He watches a lot of hockey, Matt. Spizinski taking this face off. Unsuccessfully. Florida State with the puck in their own zone now behind their own net. Florida State attempting to clear it of their own zone. Just barely managed to. Davis, and we have a stoppage in play. I believe we have another penalty. This time against Spicinski for eye sticking. Spicinski not happy about that call, and I'll tell you what, I'm not either. That's his second penalty tonight, Matt. I don't like this patchy beard referee. You really don't? He needs to man up and grow a real beard or just shave it off and be baby faced. <laughs> anyway, but, but Matt. Above all, he needs to get either a prescription visor on that little helmet of his. Or some new glasses. Anyway, Matt, that's Kennesaw's eighth penalty tonight. My goodness. All right, a shot from Florida State from the high point turned aside by Luke Thurston up into the net for a stoppage in play. That's Spizinski's second penalty tonight. Eighth for Kennesaw. Florida State had a lot of chances. Only converted on two of them, though. We have been lucky thus far. That's 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 for sure. Yeah, eight penalties, that's, uh, that's not a recipe for a win right there. Kennesaw State. Poke the puck over to the high point where Florida State regained possession. Vandekirkov now fighting along the near boards with another Kennesaw State defenseman. That's Berezinski and Vandekirkov fighting against three Florida State players. And they eventually come up with the puck and clear. Very good work along the far boards by Kennesaw State to make a clear. 123 remaining in this power play. That was a long scrum. I could have gotten I could have went and gotten a coffee during that, Matt. You're absolutely right. I could have went and made a coffee during that. And a Florida State player <laughs> has a pretty good few moves there, but uh, tumbles to the ice before being able to secure the play. This is Davis now with the puck behind his own net, skating to kill some time. Brings it out into neutral ice. You know what? He'll just take it in the offensive zone for a 2-on-2 here with Tisdale. Tisdale sending a wrister to the glove side of Gadbois, and yet another, yet another shorthanded attempt by Kennesaw State. I'm liking these shorthanded opportunities. Florida State just gets lazy on defense. They got that man advantage. They're taking it. They're really taking it for granted, man. Yeah, Tisdale decided to try and get skinny on him and go glove side, which is his near side. Almost worked. Almost worked. Get skinny on him? I yeah. like it. Testino battling for this faceoff. Kennesaw State. Uh, can't they actually come up with it? Long battle there. A lot of sticks in the way. And Kennesaw State with the puck in their own zone. And what do you know? Another clear 38 seconds remaining in this Florida State power play with 8.14 remaining here in the third period of play. Still tied up 2-2 two two between Kennesaw State and Florida State. And another clear by Kennesaw State. This one bounces off the boards into the net and out of play. 8.05 remaining in the third period and 27 seconds remaining in this Florida State power play. That's just bad luck on the clear going up into the mesh like that. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Twenty second, 27 seconds left on the uh, Spizinski penalty. Still not sure what it was for. It was high sticking. Ah. Who calls that nowadays? <laughs> Who calls high sticking in 2018? <laughs> um, face off now in the offensive zone for Florida State. They come up with the puck at the high point. Far point now. Florida State putting a hard slapper high of the net, but Thurston ends up corralling the puck. Ooh, my goodness. Looks like Gagner takes one to the face, actually. That puck rose right up and got him in the chin. I hope he's okay. I hope so. That is, uh, that the puck is not soft, Matt. No, it is not. My goodness. He's got to go take a breather, that's for sure. Goodness, hopefully he'll be all right. I know, 
Gagner, we need him. He's been doing all right tonight. He's, uh, he's got a shot on goal, and uh, he's been making magic happen on the ice, creating a lot of opportunities for everyone else. And, Indeed. Been uh, very we're going to miss him. All righty, Kennesaw State win the faceoff and send it out into Florida State territory with nine seconds remaining on this here power play for Florida State. It looks like they'll spend the last few seconds of this in their own zone. And we are officially back to five on five hockey here. Kennesaw State killing yet another penalty. Vandekirkov now with the puck on the near boards. In the neutral zone, Vandekirkov manhandling several defenders. All righty, Florida State brings it into the Kennesaw zone before giving it right on back up. Florida State managed to corral the puck, however, yet again. And the puck is sent behind Kennesaw territory. Kennesaw State managed to regain possession in their own zone. That's Vandekirkov before Florida State manages to fight them off, but only momentarily. Vandekirkov up to Deer. Evan Deer making a man miss. Oh, attempting to go five hole before he gets sandwiched in a delayed penalty for, I believe, tripping. Tripping or just a flat out sandwich there because uh, that was a good opportunity. He got taken down. Tell you what though, drawing the penalty, that was a good penalty to take. He hung in there, took the hard shot, and now we get two minutes of five on four hockey for Kennesaw State University. Yeah, Diaz taking a lot of hits tonight. He's gonna be nice and Diaz. bruised tomorrow. All righty, Spizinski taking the face off here in the offensive zone for Kennesaw State. And Kennesaw State regained possession. This is Berezinski along the near side boards. Berezinski up to Tisdale. Tisdale now along the near boards. It's a battle. Spizinski comes up with the puck on the near wing. And we have a stoppage in play again. As the helmet of a Florida State player is dislodged. Supposed to strap that thing up. How'd that come off, man? Oh, got to get escorted off the ice. He cannot play when his helmet comes off. So he's got us. He got us a little, uh, little time out on the bench right now. Spizinski on the faceoff yet again against Teal. Spizinski. Kennesaw State manages to corral the puck in the neutral zone. Gagner puts a hard hit on a Florida State forward. Gagner now with the puck on the near wing. Looking for a centering pass, just barely skittered by Spizinski. Testino now along the far boards. Up to Berezinski now. Berezinski back to Testino. Testino to Tisdale. Tisdale back up to the high point for Berezinski. Berezinski attempts a slapper stop before it gets to the net. And Florida State managed to clear. And they're looking for a little more here. Maybe a shot shorthanded, but it is poked away by Kennesaw State. This is Tisdale now with the puck in his own zone. 58 seconds remaining in the Kennesaw State power play. 5.45 remaining in the third period of play here. Along the near boards now is Deer. Deer skating behind the Florida State goal. Bounces out to the neutral zone where it's corralled by McDonald. McDonald cross ice to Davis, and we have another stoppage in play. I'm not sure what they're calling. I'll tell you, Deer comes right off the bench and immediately starts disrupting FSU again. Another, wait, do we have a penalty? I'm not sure. Maybe too many, uh, maybe too many men. Too many men, yeah. Too, too many, many men, men against Kennesaw State. Four on four hockey for 39 seconds before Florida State takes over yet again. I swear to God, this ref with the beard needs to take a chill strip. All right, Matt. Face off now in the Kennesaw zone along the near boards. Florida State comes up with the puck at the high point now. Fans on the shot, Florida State, that's Deer poking it away from him now. It's Davis looking for the puck on the far boards, bumps it up to McDonald, McDonald gets around a defender, he's got Deer there for a centering pass. Oh, just in front of the net, Deer couldn't quite get a stick on it and we have a penalty. 
being assessed. And that's going to be against FSU, Matt. His hand was up on during that break. So immediately back to even Beautiful. <laughs> no, we're, we're a man advantage now. Five on four hockey. Yet oh, again. Oh, yeah, two men, in the, two men in the box, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. It's even strength for what? 22 seconds? No, we have a... Gagner's over there having some words on the bench with FSU. Someone tells me he could beat up the entire row of that bench. Yeah, he is Gag not a small guy. Gagner now at the high point with a wrist or putting one right in the breadbasket of Gadbois, making him think twice about getting comfortable in that net. I'll tell you, previous play, though, that was a great break by Kennesaw. McDonald took that all the way. Yes, it was, and yes, quite, he did. Couldn't quite put the cap on that shorthanded opportunity. McDonald's again. got the speed, man. To uh, Ronald McDonald, Matt. They're both fast. I was get not, it, get I was, it like the food. I was not expecting you to respond get that quickly. Get it like the fast food. West Davis now with the puck in the high point. Takes a shot, bounces up above the net. It's McDonald with the puck now along the far side boards. Kennesaw State going to work here in the offensive zone. Gagner with a hard slapper. Shot, he scores! That's Tristan Gagner with the slapper near side. He beats Gadbois on the glove side, and Kennesaw State University take a 3-2 lead here late in the third period with exactly five minutes remaining on the clock. A fantastic setup right there by Wes Davis. He put that right under his stick, and Gagner just blasts one past everybody. Not even a redirect. That was pure speed going to the back of the net. He's been known to send the heaters, and I'll tell you what, that was no exception. All right, we have another minute 30 of even strength hockey before a, an age-long 17-second power play for Kennesaw State. All righty, Kennesaw State now. Looking to get back to work, but Florida State managed to crowd the puck in the offensive zone for themselves. Put a shot on goal, turned aside by Thurston. Back into the neutral ice now is the puck, and it is Davis now along the near side board, sending one on net. And another rebound corralled by Bright. Bright now along the near side boards. Up to Berezinski, back to Bright. Bright cross ice to Davis. Davis looking for a centering pass to Testino. Almost beat him blocker side, yet, or glove side on the blocker yet again. And there is an awful lot of shoving going on near the, Kennesaw, or near the Florida State goal. This is Berezinski now. Sending one across to Davis, can't quite corral it, sends it wide, but Thurston is there to send it on up to Testino along the near boards. Testino, knocked down by Florida State here. And immediately in return, Bright knocks over Teal. Florida State looking bewildered in their own zone yet again. Into the neutral license, a lazy pass that was intercepted by Gagner. Gagner's back on. All righty, Wes Davis. Sending it behind the Florida State net. Pass attempt to be stopped by Deer. Almost does, and Florida State still playing keep away in their own zone. This is Ryan Moran now. Bright sending a slapper off the blocker of Gadbois. Gagner keeping it in the offensive zone. This is Moran now about to fight for the puck here along behind the net. This is Deer. Deer has the puck along the near boards, but it skitters away from him. It's Florida State now with an offensive possession. And a slapper sent wide of the net by Florida State. Florida State can't quite make anything happen here as time on both of these penalties has expired. We have a delayed penalty on Florida State. Delayed penalty on Florida State. Gagner hanging on to the puck as Thurston goes to the bench for the extra man. 2.50 remaining in this third period with Kennesaw State leading by one. Kennesaw State just looking to kill time now. This is a very solid move. Their keep away is running a lot of time off of this clock. That's less time Florida State has to score. And another pass to West Davis. He's got an opportunity for centering pass. A shot and he scores! West Davis on the beautiful centering pass to Aaron Tisdale. My goodness, what a shot, and Kennesaw State 
about to run away with this one. Four to two now the score with 2.30 remaining in the third period of play. And Matt, that was a fantastic set up there by Mason, uh, no, West excuse Davis. me. Wes uh, Davis. That was Davis that set yes him up. Yes, sir, Davis. Oh, Wes Davis set him up perfectly straight to Aaron Tisdale for the goal back of the net. Absolutely buried it. And a another penalty. <laughs> uh, Kennesaw State with a man advantage yet again. Yeah, the delayed penalty. They scored on the delayed penalty. Good move getting Thurston to the bench. And it looks like Kennesaw State will just opt for a full change here. Wait, if there's time on if there's time on the penalty clock, why does Florida State have five minutes? Oh no, he skated off. All right, yep, five on four. Kennesaw State's on the power play again. My goodness, Kennesaw State looking fantastic here in this late second and third period. Florida State with the puck now shorthanded. They have a breakaway here, a breakaway chance, and a shot is sent wide of the net. Thurston was ready, however. All right, my apologies, that was assisted by Mason Bright. Two minutes for elbowing on the penalty is what it was. Elbowing? Was that in the rule book? Yeah, you're not allowed to throw them bows. 2.15 left to play here at the Marietta Ice Center in Marietta, Georgia. Kennesaw State leading four to the Florida State Seminoles, two. One minute and 43 seconds remaining on the Kennesaw State power play. And Tisdale putting another shot wide of the goal. Teal clearing the puck now. Thurston running behind his own net to grab it. We have two minutes remaining in this final period of play. In game one of the two game series against Florida State and Kennesaw State University. Minute 45 and a minute 15 remaining on the Kennesaw State power play as they send it into the neutral zone. Florida State manages to corral the puck, looking for a shorthander here, but nothing doing as Kennesaw State dumps it down into the Florida State zone. Number six there for Florida State, attempting to clear, shoots it straight into his own bench and just nails one of his own teammates on the side of the head. Are you serious? Yeah, hit him right in the side of the helmet. Beautiful. I don't know if they have beef off the ice, but uh, that's that a way a, to send a message. It looked like he was aiming straight for him. All right, Evan Deer here on the faceoff in the offensive zone for Kennesaw State. Kennesaw State come up with the power or with the uh, faceoff yet again, rather. V Vander Kirkov to McDonald on the near wing, centering pass to Deer with another shot, but it stopped before he gets to the goal. And a two-on-zero rush here for Florida State. And Florida State shorthanded. Bring this game within one. Defense broke down there. And Florida State forcing Kennesaw to pay the price for that one. I guess Kennesaw just got a little too comfortable on that power play. Forgot to send a man back. Can't sleep on the two goal lead. One fifteen remaining now in this Suddenly close one goal game here between Kennesaw State and Florida State University. 45 seconds remaining on the Kennesaw State power play. And we do hope you'll join us tomorrow in the afternoon at I believe 1.30 p.m. for the second of this two game series against Florida State and Kennesaw. Kennesaw State now looking to make some magic happen, but instead crawling the puck in their own zone. Kennesaw State with a man advantage for 20 more seconds as 50 seconds tick by. 48 seconds remaining in this third period. If Kennesaw State can hang on to this lead, then it will be all over. A lazy shot sent in front by Florida State, corralled by Kennesaw. Kennesaw State handling the puck now. It's behind the net with Florida State possession. Now, Kennesaw State finally managed to get it into neutral ice with 25 seconds remaining in the third and final period. That's Berezinski sending a lofter all the way down the ice and Florida State has gone empty net for the extra attacker. Gadbois wasn't doing much anyway. Florida State now with the extra attacker 
attempting to make magic happen, but this is Deer skating into Kennesaw State Zone, loses the puck, but that's, what do you know, John Testino. Sending one out from the neutral zone. Oh, he's waving the goal off, waving the goal off. With 0 0.3 seconds remaining in the game, they are waving this goal off. How That's you, what, the third one? How are you going to do the man like how that? How many goals are they going to wave off this game, How are you going to do the man like that? wonder what they're talking about. Hey, how can we rob Kennesaw of yet another goal? This game should be what, 7-3? I agree, but however, it's 0 0.3 seconds remaining in this Kennesaw State battle against Florida State University. Kennesaw State will emerge victorious for the three, the final score. We hope you'll join us tomorrow at 1.30 p.m. for the second of this two-game series as time officially expires now. And Kennesaw State take a one-game lead in this two-game series against Florida State. The next game, as said prior, is at 1.30 p.m. Same Twitch channel, you know where to find us, twitch.tv slash supergamecastbrothers. With the play-by-play -play has been yours truly, Matt Leonard. With the color, stats, camera, and further analysis of the game, my ever-eloquent younger brother, Andrew Leonard. Thank you very much for being here with me. Thanks for emphasizing younger, Matt. Appreciate it, bud. Look, I have to get something on you because you're taller than me. <laughs> All righty, 4-3 to three, the final score. We will see you guys tomorrow, bright and early in the afternoon. 1.30 p.m. once again is the time of the second game here at the Marietta Ice Center. We will be back. Twitch.tv slash SuperGameCastBrothers. Thank you guys very, very much for watching. And we will see you tomorrow.